Right, this one is all about the language of Mr Pip, and in particular, comments and uh, ideas that you can write about to do with the language. First off, I've got a really important um, term for you, really important phrase. Bildungsroman. Okay. Bildungsroman. B-I-L-D-U-N-G-S-R-O-M-A-N. A Bildungsroman is a type of novel that is a coming-of-age story. An idea of somebody gaining their identity, and most importantly for Mr. Pip, it's a story of somebody who has gone from being a child to an adult. And in Bildungsroman novels, we tend to have character change as a very important theme. So it's perfect for Mr. Pip. There's a brilliant phrase for your opening sentence of your exam response. Also important is the idea that this is a first person narrative. It is told by Matilda. She is our principal and only narrator. And there's a lot we can say about that. Firstly, linguistically, it makes it seem more real because it's actually you know, an account from one person. However, if you're more cynical about it, or actually if you're a more perceptive writer, you could say that because it's a first-person narrative, we only get Matilda's perspective on things. And then perspectives can be altered or warped. They can be biased. So that's very, very important as well. So two very quick terms. Buildings, Roman novel, first-person narrative. Thank you.